You can divide smart cities up into two groups. There are those that are in countries which are developed and they tend to be highly densely populated cities with quite a lot of constraints and I'm thinking of most major cities in Europe. There are a second group of cities which are in developing countries and they tend to be a little faster moving, some of them are newer built and I'm thinking here of Dubai and Singapore and others, where they're able to make fast decisions to put into place the things that they need to be smart cities. Both face very different challenges and both are very differently equipped to deal with those challenges. Dubai can move fast on infrastructure, Singapore has a great level of autonomy over its own spending. Cities like London, however, are very well placed with having a great melting pot of talent in technology, law, creative arts, which is the seedbed that you need to really generate those ideas that are going to make your city smart. A good question to ask is why bother with smart cities at all? And really there are three reasons why a smart city is a useful thing or a useful concept to consider. Firstly, it's because cities grow no matter what. It doesn't really matter whether you want them to. Cities all over the world are growing at a furious pace in the developed world and the developing world. And over the last 150 years, we've seen or we've learnt a great deal about how cities can develop well and where there are pitfalls and challenges. When cities get it right, they're able to provide what it is their citizens need efficiently, at low cost, making the best use of their assets and in a way that isn't environmentally damaging. So any leader would start off by looking at their city and recognising what their assets are, what are they good at, where is their economic drive coming from and what can they do to harness that and take it forward and then they can learn from other cities to see how to avoid any of the planning pitfalls that others have highlighted around how to set up your infrastructure and make the most of the scarce resources that you have. There are great lessons to be learnt from the development that smart cities are making in different parts of the world and any business or company that has experience in all those different markets is going to have a lot to offer anybody that wants to understand how smart cities can develop.